it was fun. He's a really good player, so it's a lot of fun. When it comes to the past year, Jake, um, I guess how have you seen your game take that next step uh, with more experience in the USHL? Yeah, going back for a second year, I think it definitely helped my my confidence a lot. You know, being in a better role right from the jump, and then you know having all that extra time just to you know, work on my skills, extra time in the gym. So I think going back for a second year definitely helped me a lot. Um, I think just, you know, working on the little things, working on my skating every day, trying to get bigger, stronger in the gym, just working on my shot, just, you know, trying to work on all those little things every day. Um, I think I'm a player who just, you know, wants to do anything possible to help their team win. So I think whether it's getting pucks out or blocking shots, I think whatever it takes to win, I'm willing to do. How were you able to develop hands like that? Um, just, you know, growing up around the rinks. My dad was uh, the hockey director in Jacksonville growing up, so I spent countless hours just shooting pucks, playing floor ball, playing knee hockey around the rinks. For hours. What was the experience like of growing up in Florida and playing hockey? I mean, not as popular down there, but what was it like for you to just you know, fall in love with the game and you know, develop down there? Yeah, so my dad was actually the uh, general manager of the SPHL team when I was born, so I was kind of born right into the hockey culture and then fell in love with it at a young age and you know, never looked back. So. Yeah, it was definitely difficult. You know, my uh, first two years playing AAA, I had to drive five, six hours every weekend just for practice. And then once or twice a month, we were flying, whether it was Toronto, Chicago, Detroit, we were flying all over the place just to play other teams. So it was pretty crazy. Where were you driving to play? Was it Atlanta or was it Miami? Or um, Fort Myers. So Fort Myers from Jacksonville. It was a bit of a hike. <laughs> Um, when I was looking at schools, it just kind of checked all the boxes for me. I really liked the idea of playing in Hockey East, you know, great conference. All the teams are so close. You don't have to, you know, fly all those long trips. You're in your own bed every night. And then great coaching staff. I, you know, love, love all the guys there. And then that uh, $75 million new facility that just opened up in January is pretty sweet, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get up there. You know, I'm going straight there from here, so I'm excited to, you know, get on the ice, meet all the guys, and get going there. When you get into a situation like this three on three, you're with two other guys. You don't really know them that well. You haven't played with them that well. But you three, you, Johnson, and Kitsikoff, seem to have a very good chemistry right off the bat. Uh, how do you develop it right off the bat when you really don't know those guys? Yeah, I mean, everyone here is really – really skilled players, so, I mean, it's pretty easy to play anyone out there, and, you know, everyone's competitive, everyone's a good player, so it, it kind of comes naturally whether you're playing with anyone on the ice. What did you take away from this week? Now, you've been here before, but what did you take away from this week? Um, what I took away is just, you know, how, how great the culture here is in Buffalo, whether it's on the ice or off the ice, everyone's just great person, it's great development, and just, like, what they have here is just really strong and it's really really exciting to be a part of it um so I'm driving right to school after this yeah I have my my summer session so I'll, I'll take a class for six weeks and you know work out and skate there so what have you learned about just the Sabres and draft picks I mean when it comes to the rest of the prospects and of course the NHL team I guess seeing the way that they perform this year um what I've learned is just how like the culture that they're they're building here is just just great. I mean, like Kevin Adams says, it's the guys that want to be here are the ones that they're gonna have here. So what they're building here is really cool to see. And it's cool to, you know, come here for these these camps and see what's going on. How cool is it is that to be here with Gab? Uh, really cool. You know, playing with him and Muskegon for a year and a half, kinda you know, going through our rookie year together playing with them, the USA tournament, and just 
we've been kind of really good friends right from the start. He came to Florida with me for a little bit and hung out there. So seeing his, his name pop up on my TV when I was watching the draft, I was so excited. And, you know, he's, he's a great hockey player and an even better person. So, so cool to experience that with him. Did you shoot him a text right away? Oh, yeah, I did, right away. <laughs> Um, a little bit. He likes to toss the chirps out there, but I'm just excited to, you know, get on the ice and play him, so.